So this is a supplement to lab number three, excuse me, lab number two on installing SOA Suite uh, using the quick start distribution. I'm actually going to show this. I'm going to show the Windows version of this. So what I've done is I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded the, uh, the SOA distribution for Windows specifically from oracle.com. Now you can find this distribution using the links that are referenced in the lab guide and in one of the previous lectures. So you have a choice of downloading the Windows distribution or the generic distribution, which will work on any platform. So you still it still requires Java JDK 1.7 or 1.8 to install. So I have uh, I have a virtual machine here running Windows 10, and I have JDK 1.8 installed. I can go ahead and prove that to you right here. Okay, you can see we have 1.8. This is the latest as of this production, and I have that installed. I'm on my F drive. I had to create a, this is a virtual machine, so I created another drive, the F drive, which has a little more space to allow me to install SOA and, and Java as well. I've got Java invol, uh, installed. I have my, my two zip files here, disk one and disk two, that have been uncompressed already. I use just Windows Explorer to decompress those files. So let's go ahead and run the installer. What you're gonna need to do and let me show you how I did this. You need to have an administrator command prompt open. Open, And the way I do that in Windows 10, it's going to be similar in the previous versions of Windows. But in Windows 10, and there may be a, a shorter way, a quicker way to do this, but I'm a, I'm a Linux guy, so bear with me. Find the command prompt application in your start menu. Right-click on it and select... This is a Windows 10 feature, but on Windows 7 and 8, you'll be able to go right to run as administrator. So make sure that you open the command prompt as an administrator, because it will need to write to the registry. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna switch to my F drive, and then to my downloads directory. And what I wanna do is I don't wanna run the JRE version of Java. I wanna run the JDK version of Java. So I need to, I'm gonna fully qualify the path to my Java EXE file when I do this. So, which is under F, Java, JDK, bin, Java. Then we're going to do a dash jar and then give it the name of the executable jar file, like so, and then hit enter. And this will launch the installation wizard. It's going to take some time on this system. So now that the installer is up and running, everything from this point forward as far as installing so is pretty much the same as it was with the Linux distribution. So none of these procedures that you're going to see here should be any different than what we've done in the previous lab for Linux. So go ahead and click Next. You can go ahead and skip Auto Updates. And for Oracle Home, I'm going to change the location because I don't have any room left on my C drive. I'm going to put it under F, which is my data drive and click Next. Now you can see here that I have a uh, operating system certification uh, warning. So go ahead and click the plus sign and you may get this if you're installing on Windows 10, um, but Oracle is not certified to run on Windows 10, which is fine. So it's just a warning. So go ahead and click Next. and then click install. Okay, so now that so is uh, done installing, go ahead and click next on this screen. And down at the bottom under next steps, go ahead and deselect start J developer. We're gonna create our domain first and then we'll start J developer in another lab. And then click finish and you're all set.